Hello, and in this video we're going to be creating our pair game using OnSafe. Uh, again, this has parametric uh, input, so we're going to use, have to set up our parameter for D. And again, we're going to change this 3 sixteenths to a, a quarter of an inch or 0.25. Uh, so first we're going to go to OnSafe. I'm going to go to my project with the box in it already, and I'm just going to open a new part. So I'm going to create part studio, and it's going to set up a new part for us. Uh, on this part studio, once it pops up, uh, we're going to be creating our pair key. So first, I'm going to come over here on the right hand side where it says configuration panel, and I'm going to set up my parameters. So down to the configuration variable, first one's going to be D, and I've set it as 2 inches as my default, and check. Uh, then I want to add a second configuration variable, and that's just my whole size, so I'm just going to name that whole, and change that to 0.25 as my default, and hit the green check. You can see both of those variables pop up over here on the side, and we can change those later on if we need to. Uh, then I'm going to just start a sketch. I'm going to click on the front and change my view to front. Uh, if we go back and look at our object, our pair cam, we can see we have a circle on the bottom and then another circle here on the top. Uh, we're going to start with this uh, larger circle. It's got a radius of one half D, or if we do a diameter, it could just be D. Uh, so I'm on the front and I'm starting my sketch. Uh, so I'm sketching on the front and I will need a circle to start with. So I click that and you can see it's doing the whole diameter. It shows you for size. So then when I go to dimension it, hit escape and we go to dimension it, we click on it and it's going to be instead of one half D for the radius, we're doing the whole diameter. So it's just D and we hit enter twice. Uh, then we need our second circle, so if we look this a second portion of a circle on top, and it tells you it's got a radius of one quarter D. So again, if we're doing a diameter, we have to double that and we get one half D. So we'll go back to on shape, and we're just doing a circle. I'm putting it on the Y axis above. Uh, it doesn't matter exactly where it goes. I'm going to move it to the correct location later on. So I click, I place it, and then I need to dimension it. So I hit my dimension button, and to dimension it, we want one half, so one divided by two, or 0.5, times shift eight, and then D. Hit enter twice, and that gives you that diameter of one. Uh, next, we need to have the dimension of the location. You can see on here, it's from center of circle to center of circle, it's one half D. Uh, so we have to go and set that dimension. So I'm on dimension, I click the center of the circle, hit the center of my second circle, and I can dimension that distance between those two as one half D, hopefully. So I go one to the other, and we get one half D. If I can edit. And we do one divided by two, same as before, uh, shift eight, and then D. Hit enter twice and it puts it in that correct location. Uh, then I need to add my lines. If we look on this pair cam, it's got these two lines connecting it, and then we can do some trimming. Uh, so to add some lines, I'm just going to add them. I'm going to make them extra long. Uh, that way they fit in. Uh, but it's going to go from circle to circle. It's going to be tangent to both the circles. So right now I'm just sketching a line and placing it. I hit escape, and now I want to locate it or do all constraints on this shape. Uh, later on, we're going to see the scissors. We can trim it later on. Uh, but right now, we want to do all different constraints on this object. Uh, you can find your constraints up here on the top. You can see we got our doodles. We got our text. We got our box to add or project. Uh, we have construction lines. We have fillets. We have trim. We have your offsets. And then as we get all the way over, on the far side, you have your constraints. Uh, so first constraint I'm going to do is tangent. I'm going to click on my line, and then I click on the first circle. Then I click my line again, and I click my second circle. And that makes them both tangent. You can see I got a little extra hanging off, so that's when this trim tool is going to come in, and I'm just going to trim that extra off. Uh, then I need a second line on the opposite side doing the exact same thing. So I'm just going to sketch a line, click in place, uh, then come up to my tool, hit tangent, hit my line, hit my circle, and then hit my line again, hit my second circle. 
Uh, in this case, I need to trim on both sides. So I'm going to hit my trim tool, trim on this side, and then trim the extra I have down on this side. Uh, that gives me my shape, and then I have this extra on the inside I'm trimming. So trim, all I'm doing is cutting off this extra segments I don't need. Once I have all those cut out, then I need to add my hole in the center. So I just go in the center, click, and click again. Again, we're going to resize it using our dimension tool. So I hit dimension, and I just click on that hole. I'm going to bring it way out so it's easy to see, and type in hole, and hit enter twice. Now I got that center hole at 0.25 inches. Uh, so that gives me that pair shape I'm looking for. I can finish my sketch and change it to an angle view. And all we're going to do is extrude it out. Again, we're going to do 0.25 in this case. So 0.25. Uh, then all we have to do is hit our green check. And we have our pair cam. I'm going to rename this from part 1 to pair cam. That way when I need to use it in the future, it's easy to locate and easy to recognize. And same thing down here where it says part studio 1. I'm going to rename that uh, pair cam. So hopefully this helps in your creation of the pair cam. If you have any troubles, take your time. Make sure you are using those parameters. That way you can go back and you can change it if you need it 4 inches. It can change to 4 inches. If you need it as 2 inches, you can keep it as 2 inches and so on. So you can make it the size you need it to be. Uh, hopefully that helps. Good luck.